Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video on the Diecraft Build channel and today's video is going to be a tutorial. Yes, that's right, you heard me, a tutorial. It's been so long since I've done one of these. It feels really strange to do it, but here we go with a new road design for you guys to put in your cities. Now this is a dual carriageway design. Um, yeah, so... If you guys don't want, if you guys don't know what a dual carriageway is, it's basically a bigger road. So, if you put it this way, this grass patch would be the lines in the middle. That's the lane going forwards that way, uh, and that's the lane going forwards that way. Okay, but like, there's it's split into two, so there is room for two cars to be going in each direction. Okay. That like two cars side by side to each other. Now, if you guys didn't already know, I did a stream uh, at the time of recording, which is probably going to be the day this comes out um, today, of me building this immense road. I didn't build all of it on stream. I think I, I built the bottom one on stream. All of this bottom road I built on stream. Um, which I'm really proud of, it goes all the way from one side of a classic world to the other, which is absolutely immense. I'll actually go from one side quickly, and we'll fly from one side to the other, okay? So this is this just so you can see how big it is. If you guys are looking to build a city, because I'm going to be turning this into a, si a series of how of let's build a city in Minecraft. Um, obviously big things like this I'm going to do on stream, like massive long rows I'm going to do on stream. But the rest of it I'm going to do on camera, like in videos. If you guys do want to know, there is regular world here. Just above the bedrock, there is one layer of stone. And then 39 layers of air. So we can build, like, tube stations and stuff like that. Going underneath. So, obviously, the default on top. But right above the bedrock, you want one layer of stone. And then... In the middle of the them both, you like not like in the middle of the stone and in the middle of the dirt. You want to have uh, 39 blocks of air in your customized super flat world. Anyway, that's enough of the blabbing on. Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? So the blocks we are going to need is stone bricks, cobblestone, smooth stone, cyan terracotta. I was about to say stain claim, but it's terracotta now yellow terracotta, white concrete, andesite, polished andesite slabs, andesite, and grass. These are all the materials you're going to need, so enough to fill up one hotbar, which is pretty cool. Okay, so what we're going to start off by doing is we are going to go one, two, three, with our stone brick right here. Then what we're going to do is one cobblestone and one smooth stone. You see that? Perfect. Now we're going to move over to here. One cyan terracotta, one yellow terracotta, and then three cyan terracotta. Awesome. Then what we're going to add is one more cyan terracotta, then three more cyan terracottas. Perfect. Then one yellow terracotta, one cyan terracotta, one smooth stone, one cobblestone, and three stone bricks. So from the side it's gonna look like this pretty wide roads okay now getting into the middle what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up slightly in fact not even here we don't even need this bit of the path sorry so you can do that if you're just building a single road of the same design which is what I'm gonna be doing in the city so um, anyway so we're gonna build up uh, one to the right or to the left depending on which side you're doing first with a polished andesite slab and then a block of andesite and then on the same level of where the road and the path actually is, you're going to want to place three layers of grass. Then a, another andesite, another polished andesite slab, and then you're just going to repeat what you've done there. So, once again, sign terracotta, yellow terracotta, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sign terracotta, one yellow terracotta, one sign terracotta, one smooth stone, one cobblestone, and three stone bricks. So, from the side and slightly from above, this is what it's going to look like so far. 
Okay, so now we are going to work on the road markings. So, first of all, we want to get the yellow terracotta. We're going to want to bring that out one, skip one, and then another two, skip one, another two, skip one, another two, and skip one, another two. That should be enough for now. Okay, so over here, what we're going to do is exactly the same. So, we're just going to mirror what we've done there. And the same over here. And here too. Okay, so that is perfect. Now what we're going to have to do is we need to find the middle, which the middle should be that block there. Okay. Now we're going to come out one. We're going to go one, two, three, white concrete. One, two, three, cyan terracotta. One, two, three, white concrete. One, two, three, cyan terracotta. One, two, three, white concrete. And then we'll just do the one more cyan terracotta just to even out a little bit. And then the two yellow there. And we'll just extend all these yellow markings by another two. Perfect. You can see exactly what we're doing there. So I'm just going to copy that over to here. So one, two, three, white concrete. One, two, three, cyan. One, two, three, co white concrete. One, two, three, cyan. One, two, three, white concrete. One, two, three, cyan. No, one cyan. Just to cap it off. We're not going to do the next one, two, three, but that would go off infinitely if you're doing from one side of the world to the other. Uh, I recommend starting in the middle of the world, though, like the exact pinpoint middle with the grass section. Anyway, so what we're going to do next is we are going to fill in the uh, little bits of cyan with um the the we're gonna fill in the little bits in the middle of these yellow terracotta with some cyan blocks of terracotta pretty simple pretty easy not gonna take you long okay so that is the hard bits out of the way now the easiest bit is yet to come here we go so we're gonna put on the edge here in fact we'll start from this side we're going to build our stone bricks all the way to the end. And in fact, I don't really need to describe what we're going to be doing here. So every single material we have got placed down here, except for obviously the yellow ones and where we've done the markings, we are just going to be extending it out of that type of block all the way to the end. So I am going to start the time lapse here of me completing that and I'll show you what it looks like when we've finished. See you in a second, guys. Okay guys, so here we are placing the final few blocks. And there we go. So they are your nice simple dual carriageway roads with pathways on the side as well because like dual carriageways have those and you can do little turn-ins, go and see your little neighbourhoods and other areas of your city. Um, so that's really cool. There we go. So there is your little dual carriageways right there notice it's a bit brighter i don't know if you saw in the time lapse but i set it to like day properly so it's all nice and bright now just like the weather in the uk at the moment which is amazing uh if you guys did want to make it a single road all you need to do is get rid of this crap and just invert that pathway onto that side of the road and you you're all cool uh as well as if you didn't want this grass bit in the middle you can just uh get rid of this layer of um sign terracotta and get rid of all this stuff in the middle 
and just squish them together and you get one joint road but I like those two of them being like separated by a little bit it's just a little bit more realistic if you know what I mean if you know what I mean now one more detail you can add well you can add a couple more but I'm just going to show you this one here is you can add a strip of oak leaves going in the middle now that just adds a little bit more detail and it is something that I'm considering doing on there you know what? I'm going to do that but obviously off camera I'm not going to do that on this video for you guys uh but anyway so that is the build complete every single aspect of it complete if you guys do want to you can add little street lights like going either side but that is completely up to you but anyway guys for now i thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye guys